Hello everyone, Paul here at the Rojovi Music Workshop. Uh, okay, so I've got a bit of a project I'm going to be doing over the next couple of days. A um, little bit different to uh, my usual kind of project. So let me just show you what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so I've got some old chairs here which I'm going to restore. So there's one two and three okay so these are uh, the mother-in-law's chairs which she's had for quite a long time I'm guessing they're something like 50s or 60s there's no great age to them and there's no real value um, but they're nice good quality well-made chairs um, I'm not I'm not particularly expert on uh, furniture but I, I know that this um, particular shape of leg was was quite common and quite um, quite sought after for some furniture so this one is probably the worst of the three uh, all of the seats the cushions thankfully are, are in pretty good shape they're a bit a bit grubby but other than that there's no tears or anything um, on the base of the seat itself, still got some of the original uh, cellophane, so I'm going to remove that just to make it look a bit tidier. But as for the frames themselves, um, they're in pretty poor shape, I've got to say. Pretty much every joint uh, has come away. Um, some of them are kind of in place, but have obviously been fixed before very poorly um, so as you can see it's in a pretty poor state um, and I think really to fix these properly I'm just going to have to completely pull it apart um, to redo the joints properly um, I mean as you can see where people have attempted to repair it before God only knows what kind of cement or, or what they've used on these joints but it's an absolute mess so the biggest part of this job really is going to be cleaning all that up because I've, I've got to scrape all that off I don't know what it is I don't know how hard it's going to be um, but that's going to be probably the longest part of the job it really is a mess um, and I might end up having to um, refinish some of it um, I do have some wood stain which is about this colour, it probably won't match perfectly, but it's going to look a heck of a lot better than than that. <laughs> um, so I'm not I'm not going to film the process of uh, doing this restoration of, of these three chairs. Um, I'm sure, some of you might find it interesting, but really, what I'm going to be doing is before and after. So this obviously is the before, and. As you can see, and as I've said, they're in a pretty sorry state. Um, but overall, um, the, the wood itself on all of the chairs is good. There is uh, one of them that is split on one of these, but it's quite an easy repair. So, this is what I'm up against. I've got three of these to do. As I said, this one is probably the worst of the three. I figured I'd make a start on this one first. Um, because this one will probably take twice as long as the other two combined. Um, so I'm quite looking forward to getting my teeth into this project. I don't really have much else to do right now. The shop is closed to the public. We've got no customers. We've got no students apart from the few that we're teaching online. So I don't have a great deal to do at the moment. So this is going to be a project that I'm going to enjoy doing. It's going to take quite a while, I should think. Um, as I said, the, the longest part is going to be cleaning all this mess off from previous fixes. <laughs> um, and uh, so, yeah, I'm going to, I'm basically going to pull them apart, clear up all that mess, um, clean up the joints themselves, re glue them with proper wood glue, uh, clamp them together, get them all nicely glued up and in one piece and solid. A uh, little bit of touching up on the finish here and there, I should think. And probably what I will do is uh, 
when I've finished uh, each one of them, I will put a light coating of boiled linseed oil all over them. Uh, leave that to soak in for 30 minutes or so and then wipe off all the excess so they're not s sticky and slimy. Um, but that will help to conserve and protect the wood for quite a few more years. Um, I mean, considering their age, as I said, they're probably 50 plus years old. They're, you know, the wood itself is in good shape. So they've not been left outside or <coughs> allowed to get damp or anything. So, yeah. This is the project I'm doing and uh, this is the before and I'll take another short video of um, each one at, at the beginning and at the end. So my next video will be this one once it's completed, so basically a before and after. Okay, so um, I hope you enjoy all of my videos and uh, if you do please like, share, comment and if you haven't already subscribe and don't forget to hear that notification bell okay thank you all uh take care peace look after yourselves and hopefully we'll see you soon bye bye